Hello all, I am Dr. P. Sedraman Shivakumar, Senior Scientist at the Central Tuber Crops Research Institute, Trivandrum. Today we will be dealing with the modules on non-projector aids part 2. At, the, at this module we will be dealing with the three dimensional aids and the display aids. At the end of this module you will be able to describe various three dimensional and display non-projected aids and develop exercise on selecting and using these three dimensional and display aids, the non-projected aids for the education and extension. The three dimensional teaching aids or the representation of the reality. So, it is used when the real objects are very too large or too small to size to be brought in the classrooms and these are all non-projected aids which shows the objects which are too dangerous and too expensive which cannot be seen. So, so that these aids can help us to see and examine in the ordinary classrooms. There may be objects which are too dangerous or too expensive to be bring to in the classrooms. So, the few examples of the three dimensional aids are models, mockups, globes, diorama, puppets and holograms. First let us talk about the models and diorama. The models and diorama present a miniature replica of the objects or the reality, but the diorama is an scenic representation of the original with specimens, models and paintings. There are several types of models like a solid model, like a solid model of a railway engine or cutaway or x-ray model, cutaway of model of our heart, human heart or the digestive system, working models, working models of a chipping machine and sand model, sand models of a replica of a, a person's face or popular personalities. The models are used in method demonstrations, group meetings, training programs and exhibitions. The diorama is popularly used in the exhibition and the communication centers. What are the various advantages of the models? The models are the three dimensional concept of the reality which is a replica, three dimensional replica of the reality and the size allows the close examination. Using a model we can closely examine like for example, we can closely examine the model of a heart which is not possible otherwise. So, which can permit learning and practice using a different techniques. Models can be used to, to demonstrate a function as well as the construction in case of how the railway engine works, we can examine the cross sectional model both in the static form and in the in the working form. Some models can be made with the locally available materials at a cheaper cost. So, you do not need much of a skill. So, though models have several advantages, they have few limitations too. The craftsmanship required for the construction of the model is uh, it needs a high expertise. So, models are usable only in the small groups may be around 10 to 15 people or maximum 20, larger groups model cannot work. The models are often damaged, so we need careful handling of the models while using in the learning situations. The second part is mockups. The it refers to a very specialized model, a, a, sim, a kind of simple working replica of an object being depicted. In a mockup, a certain element of the original reality is emphasized or highlighted to make it more meaningful and related to the purpose of the instruction. When a model is a recognizable imitation of an object, but a mockup is may or may not be similar to its appearance, but it is a part, it is a part of a reality. So, they are often used in the technical institutions for the training purposes. The third types of three dimensional a non projected a is a puppet. Puppet we may be knowing it is a puppet show is a very traditional art of Indian culture and it is extensively used for various purposes during the freedom movement. Puppets are say a simple type of, type of toys which are manipulated, dolls which are manipulated mean they are dressed in some kind of characteristics and they are manipulated by a manual performer, a human performer who is termed as a puppeteer. It is used mostly in a language teaching and in social sciences. So, there are various types of puppets like a string puppets which are used when this are with the attached strings and there are another stick puppets. The puppets are 
uh, attached to a stick and they are used in a creative way. And the third one is shadow puppets. People make create a puppets using the shadow, shadows of our fingers and the other the fingers of the hand puppets. The, by manipulating the fingers, they can we can also create a kind of uh, hand puppets. The fourth major category is real objects, specimens and samples. Real objects are the things which we interact with every day. The realia includes the items such as the real objects, specimens, artifacts, relics and souvenirs. It is used to teach and explain the historical aspects related to both geography of a nation or the scientific aspect. The National Agri Museum located at the NAS complex in New Delhi is one of the example of this. The specimens are a portion or a quantity of the material which is extracted for testing, for the detailed examination and for the detailed study. Samples are the part of an object for example, a piece of a coal, a piece of a marble, a skin of a bird, a, a leaf or a part of a mineral. These are used to show a part of reality which is inaccessible. For example, a, a piece of meteor stone which can be used to explain the formation of meteors which is otherwise not possible to see with our hand uh, with your eyes. So, let us see the educational applications of the three dimensional aids. The number one application is the three dimensional teaching aids which motivate the students and makes them to learn things in a very interesting way. They are used to teach different different concepts like areas, distances, boundaries, rivers, time, weather, seasonal changes and motion of the earth by using different three dimensional display materials. They are helpful in technical education for training purposes especially in the engineering field. They concretize the abstract concepts and these three dimensional aids are used to, to dramatize any historical events like a war, life of people during a particular period and thus gives a actual experience to the real life experience to the students and they are very helpful in creating, developing the creating power of the students. It increases, it stimulates the creativity among the th students and they involve the principles of learning by doing, acting by involving students in preparation of the models, dioramas, mockups which provides a first hand experience about the reality to the students. They can also be used in a wide range of the instructional situations. The other part of uh, the three dimensional aid is uh, display boards. They are the third part of the non projected visual aids. The display materials are the organized visual arrangement of learning materials on a vertical or horizontal surface which is usually designed to present significant information on a particular topic. Chalk boards, bulletin boards, flannel boards, pocket boards, peg boards, hook and loop boards, magnetic boards and black boards are coming under the category of the display boards. So, let us talk about a very universal a display board called chalk board. Chalk board is usually a wooden board either in black or green color on which a teacher can write and explain the concepts show the processes with the help of a chalk. It is most suitable for displaying notes and explain the diagrams during a, as a part of the lesson and also for working calculations or similar exercises in front of the class. Which is a, this is a popular teaching device used in the schools and colleges. It is suitable for supplementing the oral lecture, training program and group meeting. The major advantages of chalkboard are it is a very simple and easy to use teaching device where the teacher can write and erase very easily. The other advantage of using the chalkboard is it is suitable for explaining a process involving several steps where a teacher writes down each step and explain it before the students before going to the next step. The visual learning supplemented with oral elaboration through the chalkboards help the learner to understand the sequential process accurately. The teacher can emphasize the important points during the learning process. Using a variety of colors, variety of color chalk pieces, he can emphasize the very important point and also he can differentiate different concepts in using the different colors. 
the chalkboards also helps in nonlinear presentation where the teacher or student can go go back the step and clarify the doubts before going into the next step to increase their understanding the chalkboards are very easy it is very cheap and it needs little expertise and little preparation time for very effective use the major disadvantage of using chalkboard is that it tends to be difficult to write on and read from or practice in writing or drawing on them because some people may have a, a very poor handwriting they are not good in making a drawing sometimes the extended sessions they will be using the chalk piece for a long time it creates a physical uh, disturbance in the case of the teachers the next one is the bulletin boards the bulletin board is a display board with a rough surface and a colorful background which is made of a cloth or a soft board it is placed at the central place of a school office or college it is used for communicating information on the students to the farmers the teacher can display newspaper clippings announcements leaflets circular letters pictures photographs on the bulletin board the bulletin boards can be effectively used with the students and farmers it can attack, catch the attention of the people who are passing who are nearby and provide them with the key information on different development programs achievements of the students results of the examination and many more the third part of the display aid is the flannel board it's a wooden board in which a flannel is fixed like a cloth of any color so different flash cards on the back on which the flannel is fixed can be placed on the flannel board it's a really a very useful versatile and teaching aid then magnetic boards it's a display board made of, made of a milky glass sheet there are four magnetic strips spread over its length lengthwise where the iron letters can be fixed the iron letters can be used to, to display the messages in a very creative way if the tube lights are fixed at the back of the glass the material is visible even at the nights so let us come to how we can use this uh, display boards for the educational purposes number one is the educate the display boards help us to present the visual ideas and concepts which helps to develop our creative abilities of the students the number two they display a wide variety of materials like outlines directions definitions keywords daily assignments etc which are quite helpful for the learners in order to have a broader vision the display materials are helping in for to get a better and a clear understanding of the concept and also promote the permanent retention by means of illustrations and sketches the display materials are not only useful for teaching and learning process but also brightens the performance of the school and they also are economical in terms of the time spent for developing the materials and also the energy spent on this and display materials are more useful in terms of spellings readings in english to improve the spelling and reading in english formation of sentences picture composition which acts as a supplementary material for the oral lecture the display mat materials also very useful for promoting art artistic taste of the students now we are at the end of the module on non projected aids three dimensional aids and display aids i hope now you learned about this three dimensional and visual display aids which are non projected and learned how to develop those materials and how to use them very effectively in teaching and extension situations thank you